it's your lucky day. Today we're gonna take this rock and these rainbow colors and make a fun St. Patrick's Day themed rock. I'm gonna use this foam brush for kind of a one swipe rainbow design. So I am adding a little bit of each of the colors of paint onto the end of the foam brush. And I've done this before in a couple geode designs. It's kind of fun. If you don't have the foam brush, you can do this onto a regular wide paint brush, or you could just paint the colors on one by one. So I'm just gonna kind of hold it vertically because there's a lot of paint on there and just swoosh across and make this rainbow. And you can go back and forth trying to keep those colors aligned so it doesn't blend too much. You wanna still keep all of the colors visible. Now these colors didn't quite hold as much vibrancy as I wanted, so I came back with a paintbrush and just kind of brightened them up. Still kind of blended them into each other. They don't have hard lines, but just added a little bit more color to make it nice and bright. Now I'm gonna take my soapstone pencil and outline a cloud on the right side of the rainbow and then a little pot for our pot of gold on the other side of the rainbow. And this is just to give myself kind of a guide. And then I'm gonna come back through and fill both of these shapes with Liquitex Gesso. And the reason for this is partly to prime and then also because we're going over two different surfaces. I'm partially covering part of the rainbow and then I'm also onto just the natural stone as well. So this will help make sure that we have even coverage underneath the next round of paint. I'm gonna outline my pot of gold with a Posca PC1MR pen, and then I will come back in and fill it in with black paint. I'm gonna add some white paint on top of the gesso on that cloud to make it nice and bright. You can really see how it brightens up when you get the white paint on there. And then I'm also gonna add some Dragonfly Glaze full spectrum onto the rainbow just for a touch of sparkle. And a little gold buckle for our pot of gold. This is a Signo gel pen that you saw me use a couple weeks ago in a video. Very handy for a small accent like this. Now I'm gonna take some Folk Art Extreme Hologram Glitter Paint and just give an outline to the cloud. I'm not gonna fill in the whole thing, but just give a little definition around the edge of the cloud for a little extra sparkle. And this glitter is a little thicker than the um, Dragonfly Glaze, so it'll have a different kind of sparkle because it's got a little bit bigger chunks of glitter in it. And now a little bit of gesso for the gold that's gonna come out of our pot of gold. Since it's coming up over those rainbow colors, I want to make sure that there's gonna be good coverage and that we don't have rainbows popping through. Now I'm gonna do two coats of just regular gold craft paint. This is Folk Art Gold Paint. It's a little bit thin. I've had it for a long time, so the first coat didn't give it quite the coverage that I wanted, so I gave it a second coat. Next, I'm giving it a layer of Folk Art Gold Glitter Paint. So nice, as smooth as you can get it with glitter paint, a smooth layer of the gold glitter paint to add a little level of sparkle. We're gonna add more layers, don't worry. You wanna make sure and let that fully dry, and then I'm gonna take a disposable eyeliner brush, really fine and thin, and some black paint, and just make a bunch of little circles. So these are kind of like the little nuggets of gold. 
and I'm still gonna cover this up with more glitter paint, but these are gonna be kind of covered up and kind of peeking through. So it gives kind of this unique dimension and kind of that look that there are little nuggets of gold sitting in this pot of gold instead of just a big chunk of gold. This is the DecoArt Holograph Illusions glitter paint. It's very chunky. Different sizes of glitter in it. It's really fun to use for stuff like this. So I'm just gonna take a dotting tool and lay it on nice and thick. You won't be able to see anything while it's wet, but when it dries, it's gonna have a peekaboo effect with our little gold nuggets. And it's just gonna have all of this golden dimension because there's different chunks. We have the glitter layer underneath. And you do have to let this dry for a significant amount of time, make sure it's completely dry, but you can see how well it creates the illusion of a pot of gold. Super fun, super easy, and I'm so glad you stopped by to watch with me. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Take care.